The three camera moves we'll study are zoom, changing the focal length of the camera in and out, pan, moving the camera side to side, and pedestal, or quick cuts. To get started, we will first add an image by importing media, going to a folder, choosing our image, and clicking open. We'll then drag the image to our timeline. Be sure there is a check mark in Keep Aspect Ratio. I'm also going to extend the time of this image so that we'll have plenty of time to work with it. Okay, let's begin by pretending that we're giving a show. We talk a few seconds about the image and then we decide we want to zoom in on a part of it. We click Stop and then go to the Zoom and Pan tool on our toolbar. And we simply select one of the eight sizing tools and resize the screen or the box so that we are focused on the exact portion of the image we wish to zoom in on. Once we have that set, we then see on our timeline that a keyframe has appeared along with a duration of the zoom. If we want to reset that zoom for a different length of time, we go to the zoom set or we can move the entire keyframe if we wish. Let's change the zoom time to two seconds. Let's go back and play it back. Again, we click play and you see the image zooms in to the desired focal length close in. Now let's pretend that we've said what we wanted to say about the zoomed in portion and let's go back to full screen by clicking on the full screen tool. As soon as you click on that you will see that the sizing tools, all six of them, eight of them, are where they need to be. You will also see that we have created another keyframe and again we can set that duration and set the place of the keyframe anywhere we want by dragging our tools. Let's move our time scrubber back to the beginning. Let's play. We zoom in to where we want to be. We talk about that zoomed in portion. Then we zoom back out to where we originally began. Of course it's possible to do just the opposite of that. To begin the video close up, here you see the time scrubber is all the way at zero. And so to begin close up, we simply drag our zoom tool to where we want to be at the beginning of the video. Let's focus in on the rising or setting sun here. And that's where we want to begin. And you see a keyframe right there at the beginning. So we start playing our video and talking and we get to the point where we want to zoom back out to see the entire thing. Once we have our time scrubber at that point, we simply go back up, click on full frame, and you see the sizing tools now are at the full frame measure. And you also see that we have created a keyframe, and we can also set our zoom. We'll set this zoom for five seconds. Let's play it back and see what we have. We begin close, and then as we play, the entire picture reveals itself as we zoom out to see this entire Hmong storyboard. Now let's talk about panning, which is moving the camera in a horizontal direction. Let's begin by pretending that we're talking about the entire image now, and we get to the point where we wish to begin the pan. Our time scrubber is at that point. We go up and set our sizing tools to zoom in to that part where we wish to be. And we're going to actually follow these people walking. We're going to use this effect to simulate their walking. Now that we have our first keyframe set, we move our time scrubber to the end of the walk. Once we have that time scrubber at that place, about five seconds, we move our sizing frame to that point where we wish the walk to end. And as you see, now that we set our zoom to touch the previous keyframe, all we need to do is play it back. 
we zoom in to where we want to begin and then the people walk across the screen. And that is panning or moving in a horizontal direction. Once the walk is over, we click on full frame. We're back to the entire picture. We set our zoom duration and we replace our keyframe so that we're getting the exact effect that we want. Let's play it back one more time. We zoom in to the figures who are going to walk. The walk begins. The walk ends. And then we zoom back out to where we began. The final type of camera move we'll talk about is pedestal or quick cuts. And basically this means you select small areas, a number of them in a larger picture. And you're going to move the camera to each of these small areas without any panning or zooming in between. They are these small areas in effect popping up in sequence in the video. To achieve this effect you simply select a series of small areas. Each one will set a keyframe on your timeline. Then you delete the zoom duration so that each one will be instant. Here you see I'm reducing the zoom duration. And watch what happens. We talk about the house. Pop. 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 And so we're able to discuss individual elements of the overall image.